Hey guys, welcome back to another video with Lulu MD. It's been a couple of months since my last video, but I'm really excited to be back here to talk about what's in my med school backpack. So I take my backpack pretty much everywhere I go, whether it's at the fishbowl, which is a hangout place for medical students, the John W. Scott Health Science Library, my physical examination sessions, or taking notes in the classroom. It's my go-to backpack, and I'm really excited to show you what I put inside it. So first off, this backpack is actually made by High Sierra, so it's super high quality, and we actually have a lifetime warranty on it, so that means that if anything happens to the backpack, we can actually get a replacement or get it repaired. And honestly, as far as backpacks go, I think that's pretty awesome that you can do that. Next up, I want to talk about the patches that we have. So you can see that we have a patch for 2026, which is the graduating year of our class. And since I'm attending a Canadian medical school, we've got the lovely Canadian flag patch here. On the other side, this is pretty special. I'm pretty sure we're the only year that's going to have these patches on, and that's because this is a 25 years anniversary patch. That means that Canadian Medical Association, which is responsible for distributing these backpacks, has been making these backpacks for 25 years. So this year is a 25th anniversary, and so we get these special patches on our backpacks, which is, again, pretty unique and pretty awesome. Next up, going to the front of the backpack here. So there's two elements I want to point out on the backpack. And so there's the two here. The first one is the Canadian Medical Association, or in French, Association Médicale Canadienne. Um, just because in Canada we have two official languages, English and French. And that's the organization, as I mentioned, that's responsible for distributing the backpacks. Then we also have a logo here, the Alberta Medical Association, and that's because I'm attending medical school in the, the province of Alberta. So I wanted to do a quick run through of all the zippers this backpack has before I open it up and show you what I carry as a first year medical student. Now honestly, when I first got the backpack, I was super impressed by how many zippers it had. And honestly, I can never use too many zippers. So the back here, we've got one main zipper. Then we've got this middle zipper and yet another middle zipper and we have this French zipper here that's designed for carrying headphones but I don't do that because I carry airpods and I don't put my airpods in there. And then we've got these bottom two zippers, one right here and then one just above the logos. And then we also have another side zipper here. And finally we've got a water bottle holder on the right side of the backpack. So really impressed and let's open up and see what I carry. So here we are, ready to open up my backpack and see what I carry inside. And you'll have to bear with me because there's a lot of zippers as you saw earlier. And we're gonna work our way from the back to the front. Or for you med keeners out there, we're gonna go from the posterior to the anterior. <laughs> okay, so we've got our first zipper here, and this is a zipper that contains my two very important devices that I use for studying, taking notes, and all the assortment of things, including making this video. So first up is my laptop or my MacBook Pro that I use. MacBook Pro 13 inch, M2 chip, really nice computer. I need to get it fixed though because the battery keeps dying on me. Then we've got my iPad. So this is a 12.9 inch iPad Pro. And some of you might be wondering why I chose a bigger one. And that's because, oh, this is my Ferrari background, yes. But I chose a bigger size because I'm also a musician. So I actually use this to read music at the same time, which is why I really appreciate the large size. And it actually does come with a pencil. I just have to do some digging. It likes to disappear, yes. My Apple pencil. And that's the back zipper. Now the second zipper has the more important things I need on a regular basis. And the first thing I have in here is my amazing cute shark lunch bag. Uh, and I carry basically my lunch, my fruits, yogurt, whatever I need throughout the day to keep me sustained. And then I've also got my stethoscope here. And the reason I need this is because we have physical examination sessions in first year. and 
we need to use our stethoscope to practice. Now, if you haven't watched my video on unboxing the stethoscope, highly recommend it. I go into detail about what it looks like, but I won't do it here now just because I want to get through the other stuff in my backpack. And then I've got my little white coat bag that I carry some of the more trivial things such as an extra set of cutlery, my charger for my phone, that's actually important, and also my eye mask in case I need to take a quick nap somewhere and it's too bright. But yes, that's what I have in my second zipper here. And then moving on to the third zipper now. So this is kind of the more techie zipper and kind of the more useful things I need to carry around with me again, which is why it's in my backpack. So first up, we've got my USB-C connector hub that I use to put in USB 3.0s or SD cards just because my MacBook does not have these ports, so I need to have that. Then I have my USB hard drive or external hard drive that I connect to my MacBook or also any Windows computer just if I need to transfer files and also store files. And then whenever I go around and I need to use a computer, I've got my mouse here. It's a really nice gamer mouse. I don't actually game on my computer though. I mostly study on it or answer emails and also a little wrist support in case my hand gets a bit tired. Then I have my wallet here. Uh, it's really important that I have my wallet too just because my one card, which is what I use to scan in at doors or other places in med school. Without that, I wouldn't be able to access a couple of things. And then I've got this, no, it's not a Christmas gift. It is not a Santa gift. It is actually my music pedal. And what I mean by that is for those of you who are musicians and can relate to the troubles of having to turn pages and missing a page turn. I actually use this with my iPad to turn the pages. So all I have to do is click a button and it will turn the page for me really easily without me throwing papers around because that's not fun. And then I've got my pens here. They're Muji pens. I really love them. It's inside my aluminum Muji case. Uh, I don't really use it much actually just because I take most of my notes on my iPad, but it's nice to have some pens on me in case I need it for something important and then finally i've got my keys here so my home keys my volunteer keys i've got this really cute uh lego character here i think it's a bad cop little uh, bad cop little cop bad cop and a good cop and my air tag in case i lose anything there so that is this pocket here okay next up we're gonna go to this small zipper here and as you can see i do carry a really cute hand sanitizer around it's always good to have good hygiene and uh, make sure that my hands are clean. So when I open this up, what I carry in here are just two little things. I don't actually use it as a headphone area, as despite it being a headphone kind of zipper. But I have my Alberta Health Services ID card in case I need to go do some shadowing or go to the hospital. And then I also have this, uh, it, it looks really like crinkly, but what it is, it's a glasses cleaner because my glasses love to get dirty all the time. So that's like super annoying. So I have this just to make sure my glasses stay nice and clean. And then finally I have these mints here just to keep my breath nice and fresh. So that was this air headphone pocket. Now we're gonna go into the next pocket here, which I've already opened up. So here I've got my AirPods. Uh, I've got a towel in it just because whenever I try to lose my AirPods and I can't find them, I don't know why, but I can't locate them. So I need this just in case it gets lost. I've also got this little pouch here. It basically carries band-aids in case I need to apply a band-aid on myself or someone else. And then you can see there's a lot of like compartments here. So I sort of quite a few things. I've got these more professional looking pens here uh, whenever I need to go shadowing. I also have hand cream and aloe vera in case things get really dry just because it's Edmonton and it gets really, really dry here and it's not a fun time. And then I've got more hand cream. Again, you can never have enough hand cream in a dry place. This is, this is my Tylenol in case I get a really bad abdominal pain. Ladies, take note. This is really important on those off days 
And then I've got this little cute container which is actually containing Vaseline because again, maintaining that nice warm and moist skin in case things get really, really dry. So that is this pocket here. Okay, and then let's go on to the very last zipper. There is a side zipper here, right in this corner as I showed you initially, but I don't actually put anything inside of there just because I don't really feel comfortable reaching to the side. But this front zipper here, this is kind of all my personal needs sort of thing. So sometimes I go to the gym and so I carry uh, a couple of face wash items here. I also have deodorant and I also have, again, a face wash. Yes, they're all from the same company. I just like uniformity. I also have earplugs uh, in case things get noisy or I need to take a nap at school and things are noisy and I want to get some sleep. This is kind of my, my female care package. More earplugs. And I also have a gym locker lock in case I go to the gym, I need to store some things in the locker. Just making sure I didn't get anything here. Okay, and finally, after this zipper, just on the side here as I was showing you, I do have a water bottle holder. So this is my lovely water bottle that's been sticking with me through thick and thin for many, many years. And that's it. That's what I carry in my med school backpack. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and keep updated with the next Lulu MD video.